guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping, and today I made a card using the Best Birds stamp set and the Coordinating Birds and Blooms Thinlets dies, and I thought it turned out pretty cute, so I thought I'd show you guys. All right, so what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is grab a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock, and we're going to stamp this bird right here, and the colors we're going to be using for this card are Early Espresso and Real Red. I wanted to challenge myself to do a card in brown and red, and uh, I thought best birds were, <coughs> excuse me, would work well because we could color a bird like that. So I'm gonna open the early espresso, and I'm just gonna stamp the bird. So you got it right here. Let me grab a foam mat. Since this is a photopolymer stamp set, it will look best if I stamp it on something squishy, like a like of the foam mat. I'm just gonna stamp that right on here. All right, looks good. And let me grab my chamois and clean this off so that I can put it away. All right, that's nice and clean. All right. So now I wanna color this in. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my blender pen here and I kinda of wanna fill the bird in and make it like a light brown color. And if I just kind of go with my blender pen, it'll do that because it's gonna pull the ink but I want to just make the bird mostly this light brown color. And then I'm gonna go in and add some real red. So I don't need to do the whole thing, but I wanna do, let's see, the legs down here. I'm gonna actually color in the feathers, some real red. Okay, so that looks good to me. And to clean off your blender pen, just grab a scrap piece and run it till it's clear, which that looks good. All right, then I'm going to grab my real red marker. This you can get in the Regal collection of 10 markers. And I'm gonna open the thicker side and I'm gonna color in all these feathers. And I could use the blender pen, but I want it to be really red. And I find with the blender pen that it's a little bit muted. And it will also, if I use the blender pen, it will pull in a lot of this brown into the red and I don't totally want that. I wanted this to be really red. Okay, so I'm just coloring in the feathers here. The nice thing about using the early espresso is that it will still show through. The red's not gonna overpower it. Okay, and I'm gonna do these long feathers here and here. Okay, and I wanna do this little top part. And I'm gonna give it some red here, and I'm gonna give it some red here. And let's see, then for this down here, I think I'll just color this all in red. Why not, let's just go for it. Let's give him a nice little red chest here. Okay, I think that looks pretty. And then I'm going to grab my early espresso marker, which this one comes in the set of 10 with the neutrals. And I'm just gonna color in his beak right here. All right, and I just wanna give this a little bit, I just wanna darken this part a little bit with my pen. Okay, so there's my bird. I think it looks pretty. And we wanna cut this out. So I'm actually going to grab out the big shot and I have the die right here that cuts it out so let me grab that right like so and I have my magnetic platform which is perfect for something like this because I want it to be pretty precise so I'm gonna line it up on here that looks about right oops that looks off a little tiny bit there we go and it will have a little bit of a border. Okay, so crank that through. And let's see here, and there's our bird. So see how it has a little bit of a white border? That, it can't be avoided. That's just the way the die works. All right, so I'm gonna put this back. If it really bothers you, you can go back through and fill some of that outline in with your markers, but um, I don't mind it like that. Okay, so. And now I'm gonna put a card together, but I need to stamp a couple other things. So I have a piece here of Whisper White cardstock, and this is just cut at one by four. 
and I'm going to stamp the sentiment on here. Thoughts for you. This actually has a happy birthday. This is the only stamp I've ever lost. It's somewhere in my paper. It fell into my paper and I've just never been able to find it. It's driving me crazy. But I'm going to do the thoughts for you. And I'm going to stamp that in the early espresso. And I'm also going to stamp this little flower right here. Okay, so thoughts for you right here. Actually, before I do that though, I'm gonna grab my triple banner punch and I'm just gonna punch this out. Give it a little banner. There we go. Now I'm gonna stamp this on here. I'm gonna stamp it right like so. Perfect, thoughts for you. I'm gonna clean that off. And then, actually I'm gonna leave that open because I still need it, but I'm gonna grab the real red and I'm gonna stamp this flower right here, like so. All right. I'm gonna set that aside. Then I have a piece, another piece of Whisper White cardstock, and this is cut at three and three quarters by five. And I'm grabbing this right here, and I'm gonna stamp this in the early espresso. So let's see, I'm gonna do one right here, and I'm gonna do one up here, and I think I'm gonna do one over here. There we go. Okay, clean that off, and now I can close up my ink. And I think I want to sponge some red around the edge of this one. So I'm actually gonna grab that real red one more time. And I have one of our little sponge daubers here. It just fits on your finger. And that's, well, I better hold on. And I'm just gonna go right around the edges. I just want a little bit of that red. Honestly, working with red and brown would not be something that I would normally choose. That's why I was sort of challenging myself to try this out. I saw this picture of a bird um, online somewhere recently that was a red and brown bird, and that's what kind of inspired me, so I pulled out best birds. All right, so this is the little dauber, and I'm done with that. But that inspired me to um, put this card together. And actually, the one I designed first, so I could do this video, I'm actually changing this one up kind of as I go, so we'll see how it turns out. All right, so uh, before I stick this on, actually, I'm gonna stick some dimensionals on the back of this just while I've got it here. So we'll go one, two, and three. And I'll peel these off just to save me some time. And I'm gonna set this side and I'm gonna stick some on the back of my bird also and let's see I'm gonna go one two and actually I'm gonna grab a mini dimensional and just get one right down here okay peel these off one two and three okay and I'm gonna set that aside as well okay and now we're gonna put our card together so with this piece right here I'm gonna stick this on top of this piece of real red cardstock that I have. And this is cut at four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna stick this right on top with my snail. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And I have a piece of early espresso cardstock here, and this is cut at one by four. And I wanna stick some ribbon on there just to bring in the color. So I have our burlap, and I want a piece just a little bit longer. And I'm actually going to stick snail all the way down this. I know it seems kind of random, and it will show through a little bit, but it doesn't ruin anything. I wanna go all the way to the end and all the way to the end over here. Okay, and I'm gonna lay this right over the top in the center, like so, and then I'm gonna wrap it around 
and I'm actually gonna stick more just so it really sticks down. Okay, then I'm actually gonna take our Real Red. This is the um, 1 8 inch solid ribbon in Real Red. And I'm gonna do the same thing with that. So I'm gonna put some adhesive down here. I'm gonna get started right here. And I'm gonna wrap it all the way around the center like this. Let me cut that piece off, oops. Okay, and then I wanna get adhesive all over the back of this, and it's kind of big and bulky. If you feel like yours isn't gonna stick real good, you can also stick glue dots on the back of that, and um, that'll help put it down. So I'm gonna put this down right like so, and this is actually gonna go all the way across the red, and it's meant I meant for it to do that. Let's see. Okay, like so, and press. Then my bird is gonna go right here on the front. So he bent his little leg, like so. Press that down. And I think I want to take a little bit more of this real red. And I'm going to tie a bow right here. So go ahead and, you could do just do a knot if you want, but I'm gonna go for a whole bow. Let's see if I can do this, there we go. Pull, and then pull it smaller. A little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Okay, and let's trim these ends. Okay, now let's take our little thoughts for you, and this is gonna go right up here, like so. Okay, and let's see. Do I wanna bring any more red in? Actually, I think I like it like this. Okay, and for my card base, I have a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock, and this is actually cut at four and a quarter by 11. So instead of cutting it this way, the eight and a half by 11 sheet is cut this way. I'm gonna fold it over and grab my bone folder and give it a nice crisp, here we go. And then this is gonna go right on the front. like so and i think this is gonna be my card that's for you i like it what do you think so let me show you the one i designed first this one's a little bit different so this one i actually added the red in there and i colored in my flower and i also sponged this a little bit more and you can see this one's a little bit darker so i don't know which one do you like better do you have a preference i don't know i like it though i like them both but i think it's pretty so anyway, this was my uh, Real Red and Early Espresso card using the Best Bird stamp set. I hope you like it, and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.